Dear students, my last topic was past continuous tense. Today, today I am going to again talk about this topic because it was not completed in that lecture. Now, in this lecture, I will try to conclude it. So, it is a long discussion. Uh, it is a long topic. But we should understand this is class 8, so we cannot extract it or we cannot deliver a big lecture on it. So in short, I would like to explain you this thing, what past continuous tense is. I have already told you, it is the action, that action which I did yesterday, action which I did last night, the action which I, did, which I did last month, so the, but it, in that time, in the past time, it was the continuous action, that is why it is called the past continuous tense. So I have told you one main thing in this, that we must use ing form of the verb, ing form of verb. So later on I will make the construction how can we make a past continuous tense but in the last lecture I have told you that there are some situations where we can use this past continuous tense. First situation is that Past action interruption. This is first situation. And second is past action interruption specific time interruption. One is, I have already told this thing, these two things, past action interruption, specific time interruption. But I think that some students have got confusion in this second type of, second form of continuous tense, past continuous tense, that to mention the time is not necessary. But according to me and according to the grammar, there are so many grammarians who have written many grammars uh, and they have given different, some different views. But the most, the common view and the important view without which we cannot explain past continuous tense is that the time factor, specific time factor. For example, one thing is, I had, this is the confusion which I want to clarify you. I had breakfast. And at 7 a.m., 7 p.m., I was making dinner. I was making dinner. So in these two sentences, how can you differentiate the two tenses here? I had breakfast. 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 It is simply the past simple. Past simple tense. And I was making dinner. But why I have mentioned this? I was making dinner. It is the time factor which made me to write the ing form of the verb. 
सो टाइम फैक्टर इज द मैन डिफरेंस टाइम फैक्टर इज द मैन डिफरेंस बिटवीन पास्ट सैंपल एंड पास्ट कंटिन्यूस सो दैट इज वाई स्पेसिफिक टाइम इंटरप्शन इज द मैन थिंग इन द पास्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस देर आर यूजली सिक्स थिंग्स देर आर यूजली सिक्स थिंग्स सिक्स सिचुएशन मोस्टली सिक्स सिचुएशन वेर वी कैन यूज दिस पास्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस वन इज पास्ट एक्शन इंटरप्शन सेकेंड इज स्पेसिफिक इंटरप्शन और थर्ड वी कैन से हैबिट इंटरप्शन हैबिट इंटरप्शन और वी कैन से हैबिचुअल एक्शन इन द पास्ट habitual action in the past so this is another thing to understand so i think that you would have clear this thing specific time action without these things we cannot understand or we cannot write or we cannot clarify this thing past continuous tenses without these situations and these situations must for example if i will write a general sentence if i will write a gen general sentence i dash dash write in inverted commas in 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 brackets in brackets i dash dash write a book so student is at liberty whatever he can use i am writing a book i write a book so whatever he can write so there must be some situation there must be some situation where we can use present simple present continuous or past simple past continuous so situation is without situation is without knowing the situation is this thing is ununderstandable one cannot use past continuous tense or past tense or any other tense without the situation is without knowing the situation is and when situations are there the tenses can be used correctly otherwise student is at liberty whatever he can write and we cannot tell him right or wrong so this thing must understand people so habitual interruption habitual interruption there we know for example she was talking she was talking constantly in the class so we know that this is continuous tense talking in form of the verb i told you lost that without ing we cannot understand this thing this continuous tense making talking like that i she she was talking constantly in the class so this was the habitual action in the past yesterday in the previous month or previous year so this is the habitual action of anybody of some student or somebody else uh, habitual action in the past so this is the habit of somebody that he is talking more and more he is talking in barrages and constantly in the class so that is why we say habitual interruption habitual interruption is there another situation past continuous tense so fourth situation is that fourth situation is atmospheric atmospheric fourth is atmospheric interruption where is the atmosphere like that when i walk into the school several students were reading story books when i walk into the school several students were reading story books so walk into the school and another factor is parallel action parallel action interruption so like that but in the parallel action is we must know that the two actions are longer actions both both the actions for example i was studying i was studying while my sister was ironing clothes i was studying while my sister was ironing clothes i was eating i was eating food while i was watching television like that these are the actions but both the actions are long actions so we can say there there is the effect of the parallel action parallel action so one another thing other thing is that there is the adverbal placement 
there is the adverbal placement adverbal placement is the another situation adverbal placement in meant is the another situation where we use now always where now uh, just where, uh, where uh, like that just always like these words adverbal uh, placement of the words is the another factor of the past continuous tense so the another uh, the sixth sixth situation is that when one is unhappy when one is unhappy or one is irritated in the past and we use the word always and constant we use the word always and constant there we use the past continuous tense so these are the situations you need not to you need not to uh, uh, feel that these are very hard or un understandable no these are very simple but this this is the confusion which somebody has told me in the last lecture and i i am telling you that without the time factor particularly in the time factor without time factor time factor is the main factor where we can use the past continuous tense so these without these situations we cannot use the past continuous tense correctly but for you my dear students but for you my dear students the simplest thing you remember you should remember subject plus was the past forms of to be past past forms of to be was and were past forms of to be is and are like that subject plus was and were plus ing form of verb and if we need object for example subject is shafi was learning english shafi was learning english so shafi is subject was is one among the two whether singular or plural shifi is singular that is why we have used it was if it would be boys then there we should use were shifi was one among the two according to subject whether it is singular or plural learning ing form of the verb the main thing here without ing we cannot understand we cannot uh, recognize the continuous any continuous form Shifi was learning English is the object. English is the object. English is object. So, subject was were ing form of verb plus object. This is the sentence. This is structure of the sentence. But while using, while using, if we will write the same sentence, for example, Shifi. dash learn english if we will make a question without mentioning the condition or the situation in this sentence if the this sentence will come in the exams so what will our student do he will do nothing he is at liberty she, he can shift he learns english it's a correct sentence shift he learns english is a correct sentence so if we will mention some situation here shift he dash learn english at that time at that time at that time is the situation it is a time specific time situation which we use in this sentence when it is mentioned in any other sentence so student is not at liberty so he should understand the situation and put the correct verb in the fill in the blanks like this shafi this blank shafi was if it is this time then is is learning it is that time so it 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 is it is it is the past shafi was learning english 
at that time so i think you you might have understand this thing and this is simple subject was verb plus ing form of verb plus object but without the situations in the next lesson in the next class you will learn past continuous tenses and what are the situations and uh, i think this is very simple shefi was learning english i was eating food she was washing clothes and they were reciting quran like that these are the continuous forms yesterday what i did what i did uh, uh, last night what i did uh, last day last month like that so there we can use shefi was learning and without situations we cannot use it correctly like this this is the situation and that make us to uh, put this was learning in the blank so this is all today's lesson dear students walaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa